nonprofit group called Friends Indeed. Yesterday, I spoke to the people who gave life to a work of art. Order. Design. Sunday in the Park is based on um, a Georges Seurat painting. I brought it into Steve as we were trying to generate ideas for a show. And what was interesting about the painting is nobody's looking at anybody else in the painting. It looked exactly like a stage set. And James then said the key thing. He said, the main character's missing. And I said, who? He said, the painter. And once he said that, it was like a click in the room. Suddenly, we knew that there was a play there. On this Sunday, there will be no sets and no costumes, but there will be Sondheim's music, the original cast of Sunday in the Park with George, and their desire to help friends in need. We need contact with other people. We need connection. We need connection. I think we don't have it. I think we feel really lost. So imagine being ill and not having connection with anything. Why was this reunion so important? First of all, it's for a wonderful cause, uh, friends indeed, who help people that have AIDS or any terminal illness. Secondly, it was one of the greatest theatrical and work experiences of most of our lives. The piece as a whole is extraordinary. Sunday in the Park with George is a wonderful, wonderful piece. And to be a part of it uh, is would bring anybody back. The Sunday in the Park with George reunion show may be a one-night-only affair, but you can see the George Seurat painting that inspired it at the Art Institute of Chicago. When we return, some inspired soccer with Melrose Place star Andrew Shue.